This is a brief tour of what a student sees in their Canvas student app. I'm in a teacher app. One of the nice things about the teacher app is it has student view and I can see what the student sees. So this would be the student. The NA would be the, the student would see their score there. The test student doesn't currently have a score. If I go into the course, I, I can see the course modules. Those are like folders. These can be collapsed if the student wishes to. And uh, we're currently in Chapter 5. So I can collapse those to get down to Chapter 5. But you can see from this that I've got links to... Uh, I've copied pieces of my textbook into Canvas. And so they're available here to the student. There's links to videos. Students can access the videos directly from Canvas that I've prepared for them. And there's the homework that you see 5.1 here where they submit the homework. And, well, there's, uh, there's certainly different ways to tackle this. Uh, the basic homework is like this. This is a file upload. And so they're going to, to submit. They just click on the blue button at the bottom. And then they have to upload it from their phone. That means that they'll have to produce a file that they've got somewhere on their device. Now, they can use the camera. They can pull a picture from the gallery. Those are a couple other submission options. But the one my students are using is they're preparing files in in uh, uh, Google Sheets or Excel, their choice, and then they can simply submit that assignment and it will upload the file uh, to, uh, to Canvas. And so that's how they, they've submitted their file. And they can then see that it's submitted. Sometimes students say, did you get my file? Yes, it's submitted and waiting to be graded. And so it's over there. Uh, if there is a rubric being used to mark it, they can see that as well. Uh, they have access to that. Modules are, are the way I recommend students interact with the course. This, this is what organizes the course. I've the dates and other things, but it's not the only way. Students can use the syllabus. The syllabus has two screens in it. One is your syllabus, and the other is a summary of all the assignments you've put in. They're all actually listed here in the syllabus. That's a feature Schoology doesn't have. Pages are where I've put my textbook. It's located here in Pages. And so if a, a student um, wants to read the textbook, I've moved my textbook over into, into uh, Schoology so that they can, can uh, read the textbook right inside uh, Canvas. So I moved it over into Canvas. And they can see those directly. But pages can be anything. Uh, they, they, uh, whatever you want to put together. The front page itself is a page. And the front page for the course is itself a page, which is a welcome to statistics. Students can directly access assignments. Rather than going through modules, they can go just to a, a screen which has all the assignments on it. And they're organized by overdue assignments. The test student hasn't done any assignments, and upcoming assignments. And so they can see what's overdue, they can see what's coming up. Uh, discussions. You can, of course, have discussions, and that's a, a, another area. They can see their grades and see how they're doing on their grades. They also have a what-if score capability in Canvas. So students can see what if I got such and such score. So they can see that as well. Uh, they can see the other students in the course and people. If I were to click on that, that would uh, open up the actual course roster. Uh, they, it's a college. They're allowed to know who's in the course, and they can actually send messages to and from other students. Files. Those are course files. Any of these can be hidden from the students if you wish to. Uh, that's done in the settings. Uh, you have to go into the desktop version to access those settings. But any of these items that you see here can be hidden from the students. They can, my class, they can see the student learn the outcomes for the course. And they can see what the outcomes are for the course and uh, uh, learn about them and the rubric being used to mark those particular outcomes. The quizzes are separately listed here, quizzes, tests. Uh, but they're also accessed, they're also available um, in the teaching mode. They're also listed under assignments as a group. Groups are what they use for categories. There's conferences. 
which um, won't work in my test student mode, but that is big, big blue button conferences. There's a, there is a chat facility that you can enable or disable course by course if you want to have students able to, to uh, uh, chat with you um, uh, live. You can do that as well and access to Google Drive. So that's the student view of, um, of, uh, of Canvas, the Canvas student app and the things that they're likely to see and be able to do.